Over the last few decades, immune checkpoint inhibitors, ICIs, such as the anti-programmed death PD ligand L1, PDL1, have revolutionized the treatment of advanced melanoma, a type of cancer. However, about 50% of patients taking these drugs still experience disease progression, underscoring the need for novel immunotherapeutic combinations to treat the disease. In order to bridge this gap, researchers conducted a Phase 1-2A clinical trial, Relativity 020, to investigate the safety and clinical efficacy of a novel immunotherapeutic combination consisting of two ICIs, an anti-PD-1, nivolumab, and a lymphocyte activation gene 3, LAG3 inhibitor, relatlimab, for the treatment of advanced melanoma. The 518 patients enrolled in the trial were divided into two. The D1 cohort comprised of 354 patients who experienced melanoma progression within three months after the last dose of a prior PD-1-containing regimen, including combination with anti-CTLA-4, and the D2 cohort comprised of 164 patients who received multiple prior lines of an anti-PD-L1 regimen, prior adjuvant or neoadjuvant anti-PD-1 therapy were allowed, and who progressed during or within six months of the last dose of adjuvant anti-PD-1 therapy or subsequent progression occurred on additional anti-PD-1 therapy in the metastatic setting. Multiple prior lines of BRAF inhibitor therapy were allowed as well. Patients were treated with nivolumab and relatlimab and assessed for their objective response rate, ORR, and progression-free survival, PFS. Patients in the D1 and D2 cohorts had an ORR of 12.0% and 9.2% respectively, and these responses were noted irrespective of PD-1 or LAG3 expression. Additionally, 84.6% to 92.3% of patients continued to respond to treatments at six months, indicating the durability of treatment response. The median PFS was 2.1 months among patients in D1 and 3.2 months among those in D2, while the six-month PFS ranged from 27.7% to 29.1% across the cohorts. In addition, Nivolumab and relatlimab were found to have a manageable, consistent safety profile and did not result in any treatment-related deaths. While the effects are modest and further studies are needed for the selected patient population, these findings demonstrate that the dual blockade of PD-1 and LAG-3 using a combination of nivolumab and relatlimab may serve as a safe and effective treatment option in patients with advanced melanoma who fail PD-1 therapy.